collaborations can be very positive, but there is also a risk. If these collaborations are not well monitored, are not well chosen, they can also dilute and weaken the brand, the luxury hotel brand. So I have listed on that slide a number of conditions that should be met so that the collaborations are successful and relevant. First of all, they should keep a balance between the image of the hotel and how they can support the business. In the business of luxury, this balance is always essential. The second is, these collaborations can often help the luxury hotel develop storytelling, which is, of course, very interesting, potentially. However, that storytelling should be based on the fact that the hotel brand and the other brand have something in common. There is a common territory. There is a DNA compatibility. There are some elements that can be used between the codes of the two brands that can be a source of storytelling and that can help consumers understand the relevance of the collaboration. Collaborations should also be relatively easy to understand. You cannot expect your consumers to make a long effort to try and understand why you collaborated with this or that brand. And last but not least, for luxury hotel brands in particular, this collaboration should, as much as possible, be alternative. This is a very important point. I would like to elaborate on these two seconds. By alternative, I mean that the brand, which is going to be the partner of the hotel, should not partner with all possible hotel brands, in which case that obviously dilutes the value of the collaboration. To give you an example, if a hotel brand starts collaborating with a famous uh, beauty brand such as Guerlain, the French perfumery and the cosmetic brand Guerlain, for its spa, if Guerlain is collaborating with a lot of different hotel brands, as you can imagine, that dilutes the uh, value of the collaboration. So by alternative, I mean collaboration which enhance the uniqueness of the hotel brand. Mm -hmm.